Well, it's good to be with you again today. And between last week and this week, we've changed seasons. Uh, not the liturgical season, not yet. Um, if we were in church, we'd still be having green as our liturgical color. But um, fall has come. And today I had a very fun time uh, getting out my fall decorations and adding a few uh, things around the house just to signify that fall is here. Now, I realize the weather is not indicating that. A few days ago, it seemed like it was going to be fall and it was cool and there was low humidity. I was so excited. I thought, oh, great, fall's really here. No, a few days later, it was in the 80s again, high 80s, humid as you know what. Um, but fall is here on the calendar. I guess I got a little ahead of myself. Talking about that, um, I had an interesting conversation with my daughter this week. Uh, my son-in-law's family, uh, in that family there was a wedding and my granddaughters, my two granddaughters, uh, were participating in the wedding and were, uh, this was the first time they had been bridesmaids. And uh, it was wonderful to see the photographs of them and to see uh, them looking so beautiful. Um, kind of strange to see in the background people wearing masks, but I'm glad people were taking care of themselves. Um, but I got to talk to my daughter about the wedding and I said, how did it go? Because uh, the wedding took place in a Catholic church. And my daughter's family, they are more used to maybe Baptist or non-denominational churches. So uh, this was very, very different for them. Not only were they being bridesmaids, but they're in a totally different type of setting and uh, liturgy uh, for the church. So she, well, it, it went really well, she said. But um, at the rehearsal dinner, she was telling me that um, they were helping the children to practice walking down the aisle um, behind the cross. So there was the crucifer, actually it was a woman, um, in her alb, and then she was carrying the cross, and then they were training the children, helping the children to walk uh, behind the cross at a distance, uh, so they wouldn't get ahead of each other or the cross. So um, my daughter was telling me that um, it was so interesting because the lady who was helping them, the crucifer, was kept telling them now the thing to remember is don't get ahead of the cross so my daughter was telling me that on friday evening when they went back to where they were staying and they were um had done the rehearsal and then of course the next day would be the wedding my oldest granddaughter was telling my youngest granddaughter now you've got to be really careful not to get ahead of the cross that's like you know, the most important information and my daughter was telling me it seemed like all evening that's uh, she took great pride in reminding her younger sister don't get ahead of the cross you mustn't get ahead of the cross and i just thought wow that spoke to me <laughs> i get ahead of the cross sometimes i so want this coronavirus to be over i so want to get back to normal life uh to the life that i know seeing you all being in the church the regular church seasons but I know that we're just going to have to take it one step at a time and do what is right and safe for ourselves and for everybody else and not get ahead of ourselves in our um, excitement to get ahead, you know, to want to go be in front or doing something different. Um, so just some thoughts today, uh, some thoughts that came to me through the stories that my grand uh, of, that my daughter was telling me about my granddaughters to not get ahead of the cross. As we begin in-person worship in a couple of weeks, I'm trusting that we're not getting ahead of the cross, that we are taking things carefully and wisely. And I know each one of you will be making the decision that's right for you, the one that feels the best in your heart and mind, knowing your unique situation. And it's such a good thing to know that we're all in this together and we will continue to support one another and be there for one another, uh, whether we're attending in-person worship or at home. Well, good to be with you again this week. My prayers are with you as always. I pray that God will bless each one of you, that God will keep you, 
and that God will continue to hold you in God's life-giving and wise hands. I love you. Bye-bye now.